What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, I'm working on this rear end. I've, I've got all my new parts for the nine inch that I just got from Quick Performance. So it's a new housing. I got a track bar kit, uh, center section with 350 gears since I don't have overdrive and new 31 spline axle shafts. So time to get this old stock six lug rear end out and get the new axle ready to rock and roll in there. So I got the shocks all unbolted. The brake lines are off already. The track bars unbolted on that side. I just need to undo the U-bolts and then I can roll this out. So I've got the frame set up on jack stands. So let's get this thing rolled out. All right, so I got the axle bolted all in. Next thing I'll have to put the diff, the, the third member in, and then I'm gonna have to get it measured side to side so I know where to weld, make sure it's right side to side. So there's the Quick Performance logo. It's a reused center section that they've been cleaned up, uh, new ends, or, you know, axle tubes, new axle tubes. They are quarter inch wall and it has billet steel ends on. All right guys, I got the axle kind of assembled, got the center section installed. I just put three of the studs in it for now because I'm going to want to paint the whole rear end. So got the center section in, the axles in. Uh, they're not all the way in, as you can see, the seal. Um, I've got it measured side to side, centered up. And I've got the angle finder. I guess it's a magnetic protractor is what they call it. Um, set up on here based off of my frame, I'm three degrees up. And this is gonna, and this is my air ride set at my drive height. So it'll be, it's all set up for when I'm on my number, number two setting. It'll be three degrees up, which should be, should be good. So, so I'm gonna tack these axle mounts on, then I'll have to figure out my pan hard bar um you know tack it on and make sure it'll go through the paces without hitting anything so let me get the welder set up and then i'll bring you guys right back all right so now that that's tacked together you know it's a good tack on each corner just so when i take it off it's not going to move same on this side So now that that's all done, I'm gonna set up my pan hard bar. And I just wanna make sure when I put it on that it's not gonna bind or it's not gonna hit anything through the travel motion. So let's get that going. All right, so it's at my right height now. So I'm gonna just kind of set this up here and see how that will look through the cycle. All right, I got the third member out, axles out. I'm ready to rock and roll, weld these guys up and go from there. So let's, uh, let's get started. I think these other ones I'm going to take to work to burn in on the bigger welder. I mean, it looks like it's got pretty good heat, but let's check it out. All 
All right, so there's that. I think it'll hold good enough for the Panhard bar. Then, yep, I'm gonna have to burn those in at work. Oh, well, looks good enough for me. So I'll get this thing taken down to work, get that finish welded up, sand it, epoxy it, paint it, and then we'll slap it back. All right, so here's the rear end all built, ready to rock. Got the third member in, it's all sealed up. They said in the instructions to just use RTV instead of a gasket. Got my um, vent there. All right, so I got those brackets all welded back on. Took it to work, used the 220 welder. Got them welded on. Got them all welded on. Got it painted with a single stage. I did it in epoxy black um, as a sealer on the bare metal and then used a single stage gloss black on the rest of it. Looks pretty good. Um, and then I also, it's all built, I mean, obviously. <laughs> so it's got the 11 inch disc brakes, drilled and slotted rotors. The uh, calipers are actually from a 78 to 88 Monte Carlo uh, front. Then I got the Speedway brake line kit. With those tabs I welded on, made brake lines. And this rear end's got a 350 gear posi 31 spline. And I had to extend my drive shaft an inch and a half. So I ended up just buying a third. So it's a 1330 joint on this end and a 1350 on that end. So I got a 1350 yoke, 1330 yoke, and about 18 inches of drive shaft tubing. I think the rear end turned out pretty good. Um, got the fluids in it. We'll, uh, we'll give her hell and see how she does. So that's all for the rear end update, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks, guys. See ya.